Okay, folks, a uh, quick video. I have a Garmin, you can see here, the Vivo Fit 4, and uh, it takes these batteries right here, which you can see, not that one. This is a, let's focus in on there, SR43W. Um, there's a few different model numbers for this, but you can see it's fairly thin. Unfortunately, I don't have access to a store that sells these anywhere nearby, and uh, I had these LR44s in the garage, as you can see there. LR44, they're more common to find. I believe they're cheaper as well, uh, but they are substantially thicker. You can see there, comparing the thickness, that one is at least a few millimeters thicker. So how do we get around this conundrum? Well, it's possible to get the LR44s, if you're in a bind, into the Garmin. Let's pop this out of the case. You can see the problem though, uh, as long as you don't worry too much about the waterproofing, if you're not planning to use it, remember that it, when it's inside of this rubber um, strap, it does seal it up pretty well, but you can see that there will be a slight gap. You can fit the larger batteries, you can even see it there, um, but you'll have a gap. So let's see how that's done. The problem is when you try to put this thicker battery in, it will not um, make contact with the watch. So you have to bend some of the pins and I'll show you how to do that right now. So let me just show you what I did here. I'll zoom out and we'll quickly open this up. We'll get out the, the screws, four screws on each end. Okay, watch is now turned off and I'm gonna lift the lid almost there. Okay, and there we have it. So what you'll see in here are, if I can uh, remove this thing right now, this is an LR44. Uh, there's two of them. As you can see, they're way thicker than the substitute that you're supposed to really put in there. And the reason why the case doesn't close and work is because there's a small pin here. I'm going to zoom in again and show you right there, this little contact right there and this little contact right there make contact with the back of the board here. This contact here and this contact right here as well. The speaker, which is here, has to make contact with here and with here, these two small pins. So you're going to lose your beeping functionality too with this modification unless you thicken up or add a bit of uh, solder to these elements here. Uh, this is not going to contact because they only go up so far. I mean, there is some pressure there. You can see it got, has some give, but not enough. Okay, so you get underneath this tab with a screwdriver and you pry it up. You lift it up so that now it's taller than it was before. That way when you close the lid, and I'll close this up again to show you, make sure it's on right, make sure the gasket's there, although it's probably not going to matter at this point, okay? I've now shut it, you can see something's happening there, and the watch has resumed function, and uh, it seems like it has a little bit of memory there, so it has not uh, forgotten the time, even though it was without batteries for a few seconds there, okay? So let's close it up. I'm not going to tighten the screws too much because I don't want to uh, to stress out the plastic case. I know that I'm not closing it fully, okay? But uh, just give it a nice firm, but not too tight, okay? So there it is. It's working a treat. It goes back into the strap, uh, I believe. Uh, which way? This way. Let's try. Sorry, off camera here. Is it that way? Yeah. Okay, so we're back in. Okay, there we go. Watch works. Um, you know, this is fairly sealed around, although I don't, wouldn't trust this to go very far on into, you know, in watery situations. If you're not worried too much about the water um, and you're not using it underwater for anything, then there you have it. At least you don't have to be stuck without your fitness tracker um, for too long. And these LR44s are relatively easy to come by, a little bit easier, I think, than these um, Garmin or these specific batteries that are thinner, uh, which are the SR43Ws that are in the Garmin watch. 
So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, uh, subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.